All right, Shalom. First and foremost, we're going to give all praises, honor, and glory to our power. Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakar Kadash, the honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, 100% truth. All right, because that's what um, Yahweh Bahashim has bestowed upon his servants, the prophets, 100% truth. All right, citations um, to the elect, you know. And uh, I'm the brother of Walker Bar. I know, buddy. You're Tabi Awala. Yeah, we just come together through the spirit of the prophet Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. You know, we want to go into a lesson on um, on brotherly love, you know, which is uh, that's that's the second commandment, you know, keep another uh, get that in, um, St. Matthew, all these laws hang on um, hang on two, it might be matter of fact, I might have to look it up. Twenty two and thirty seven. You got it. Uh, slide. Mm hmm. Is uh. St. Matthews 22 and 37. Mm -hmm. Yehoshai said unto him, Thou shalt love the Lord thy power with all start, thy... Start up, start up. Um, let me see. Uh, yeah, did these, all these hang on, all the commandments hang on these two? Oh, oh forward. There's a... Uh, there's a... Uh, uh, St. Matthews 22 and 39. And the second is like unto it. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Yeah. Thirty-seven. Thirty-six. Okay. There's a uh, St. Matthew's twenty-two or thirty-six. Master, which is the great commandment in thy law? Mm -hmm. Yahweh Shai said unto him, Thou shalt love the Lord thy power with all thy heart. Yes, yeah, the first commandment: Thou shalt love Yahweh our power with all our heart. Okay, give your all unto this truth. Continue. And with all thy soul and with all thy mind, this is the first and great commandment. Mm -hmm. And the second is like unto it. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Yeah, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. It doesn't speak of, it's not talking about a neighbor. If you live in apartment um A1 and they live in apartment um B, B1, you A know, your next door neighbor. You A2. know who? Yeah, A2, all right, who come over and want to borrow some sugar. You know, now nah, it's talking about uh your neighbor, your brethren. Okay. And who is who is the brethren? Get um St. Matthew the 12th chapter. You know? Because they're the two-thirds, man. They're, hey, they're not our brothers. They're like the heathens, you know? It's gonna tell you, Yahweh is gonna tell you who the brethren is. But continue, continuing that up. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. Yeah, on these two commandments hang all the law and the and the prophets. Alright? So you serve the Lord with all your might. Or can you love your um your neighbor as yourself? You treat each brother as if um you're dealing with Yahweh Shah himself, you know? You got that up? Matthew 12 and... Yeah, Matthew 12 and uh, I believe it's like around... Let me look. 12 and 47. Okay. This is Matthew 12 and 47. Then one said unto him, Behold, thy mother and thy brethren stand without, desire to speak with thee. But he answered and said unto him that told him, Who is my mother and who are my brethren? Mm -hmm. And he stretcheth forth his hand toward his disciples and said, Behold, my mother and my brethren. Mm -hmm. For whosoever shall do the will of my father, which is in heaven, the same is my brother and sister and mother. Yeah, so those who you do the work with is your family. You know, that's your, um, that's your brother, your friend, your neighbor, whatever title you want to put on it. You know, those who, um, who hit the battlefield with you, man. All right, those who uh who have the um the, the the like the like mind, you know, who have the mind of Yahweh Shai, you know, that's why you're supposed to continually be with the uh a, a man of the Lord. Get that in Sirach 37. Unless you had another precept. Come on. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a uh, Psalms 133 and one. Huh? Behold. How good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. Yeah, how good and how pleasant it is for brothers to dwell together in unity. All right, because you can um you could you can hang with your, your cousin in the world, you know, but it ain't gonna be no unity. You know, here it is, man. He gonna try to uh he gonna try to pass you the um the blunt, you know. He gonna try to tell you eat some um eat this um eat this bacon. It's all right, you know. And uh, Satan, Satan gonna be on him hard too, you know, to try to get you to do those those old things, bring out the old man. Yep, and it'll be easier for you to um to relapse to smoking weed than it'll be for him to stop. So you can't put this spirit on nobody, man. You know, on just anybody. All right, 
you, yeah, you, you know, you give it to uh to uh to, to men who are meat for repentance. You know, you don't just try to share it with uh with anyone. You know, so you might be kicking it with your cousin um in the world, which I don't recommend that. You know, we're coming to a point in time, man, where hey, just uh be continually with the with the godly man. You know, one that's um that you could dwell with in unity. All right, with the precepts flowing, it's, it's spiritual conversation. You know, read it again. Uh, it is uh, Psalms 133 and 1. Behold how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. Yeah, for brethren to dwell together in unity, man. And what unites us? The Word, the Holy Spirit. You know? Which two-thirds of our people can't receive. You know? They come in the, um, in the spirit of, uh, of Satan. You know? Anti-Hamashiach. You know? And they'll look at you like, like you're crazy. You know, when you say, if you say man, a man and a woman isn't equal, you know, when you say that, hey man, um, committing adultery is worthy of death, you know? Oh, you can't sleep with two females at the same time. Yeah, you can't have a threesome, that's wicked, you know? All on the Sabbath, you shouldn't be um, really, you know, doing anything, man, you should be resting, you know? Jake, hey, Jake, look at you like you crazy, you know? They'll, they'll try to come up against you, all right? But when you with a brother, man, you know? It's already understood. Yeah. Quick precept. Mm -hmm. Amos 3 and 3. Can two walk together except they be agreed? Yeah, can two walk together except they be agreed? You know? Can two walk together unless they be they, unless they um be in unity, man? All right? Unless they're like-minded. No, man. You don't see the... uh, You don't see... In the, in the worldly sense, man, you don't see the uh, the bloods kicking with the crypts, you know? God. You know, you ain't going to see a, a man who's uh who's into uh the lifestyle of... um. Let's say he's into a lifestyle of, of uh, fraternities. You know, he went to college to be a fraternity. He was in the uh, the, the Alpha Phi Gamma or whatever. You can see him kicking it with a, uh, a a Jake in the streets. You know, who uh who who sell dope and shit. All right. So on the spiritual level, man, you ain't gonna see a man of the Lord kicking it with an infidel, man. As a matter of fact, you gotta get that. In, um, what's that? First Corinthians. You know. You ain't gonna see a man in the Lord kicking it with no um with no infidel man with a non-believer, with one who doesn't fear you how about shimmy how shy, you know. As a matter of fact, let me see. And even people in the world they say, oh, I, you can't have these uh these type of people around you if you're gonna do this, you know. Like if you're doing a uh, like people in the world they're doing a certain thing, they they ain't even gonna have uh niggas around them. Yep, yep, that's right. I got it. This um Second Corinthians. 2 Corinthians 6 and uh 14. Be not be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. You speak on it, bro. Ah, so be not unequally yoked with unbelievers. You know, there's there's uh no fellowship no fellowship with them. There's no uh no common bond, you know. There's uh they're 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 uh they're in their worldly mindset, you know. And it's an unbeliever on top of that, you know. An unbeliever, anything could happen to him in this time of judgment right now. That's right. And you, you, uh, you hanging out with him too, you know, you, you'll get judged right along with him. That's right. That's right. It says, be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers, for what for what fellowship have righteousness with unrighteousness? Ah, uh, so what fellowship does does righteousness have with unrighteousness? You know, like I say, you if you strongly, you know, you believe in in uh, putting away the the wickedness in the old man, you know, you hanging out with somebody uh. So what smoking weed doing doing all kind of uh adultery and stuff trying to get you to do it you know it's it's uh you, you want to separate from that shit you know yep there's it's, no fellowship with that that's right and what communion have light with darkness all right and where the children the light you know and two thirds of our people are in utter darkness and they love it you know what they'll try to do is they'll try to bring you into darkness you know they'll try to what they that thing called what uh peer pressure. You know, try to have you transgress the law, statutes, and commandments. Because like you were saying, like the brother was saying, all right, Satan is going to be on them tough to try to get you to go off. Satan wants to bring you back into um into darkness, you know? Quick reason. Uh-huh. First, uh, first John 2 and 10, he that loveth his brother abideth in the light. He that loveth his brother abideth in the light. He that loveth his brother abideth in the word and follow the precepts, man. You know, continue on. And there is none occasion of stumbling in him. Yeah, and there's none occasion of stumbling in him. All right? There's none occasion of stumbling in, in your brother, man. All right? And if your brother does stumble, man, you know, if he does go off, all right, you're there to uh, to correct him. All right? 
But see, uh, 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 when you niggas in the world, man, they gonna egg you on to do some um some dirt. You know, they gonna egg you on to walk in darkness, man. Let me finish this in Second Corinthians, this six and fifteen. Now it says, "And what conquer hath Hamashiach with Belial, or what part hath he that believeth with an infidel?" Ah, so what? What part? What uh? What Yahweh Shai have with with Satan, man? Right. You know, and no no parts. And, and, and uh, uh, what we have? It's the same thing. What we have? You know, if we were with Yahweh Shai. What we have with uh with unbelievers? Right. No no part. You know, it, it just it's just common sense. It's common sense, cause man, what a um, what 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 do we have, man? We have fear and we have faith. You know, we fear the Lord, and we and we truly believe upon Yahweh Shai. All right, here it is. A uh, infidel. He doesn't fear the Lord. He only fears a so-called white man. All right, and he don't know nothing about faith. He's carnal, just like his um his father, the devil. You know, like you and like you were saying, bro. In this time right now, man, you don't want to be caught hand in hand with the nigga. You know, you much rather want to um be with be with the brother. All right, Cause what the Lord said: "Where two or three are gathered, there I am in the midst of them." You know. But if it's just you and the nigga, then what? Satan's gonna be in the midst. You know? Yeah, appreciate that. Yeah, Khan uh, is a Sirach 13 and 15. Every beast loveth his like, and every man loveth his neighbor. Yeah, every beast loveth his like, and every man loveth his neighbor. All right. Lights came back on. Oh, every beast, every beast loveth his like. All right. You ain't gonna see a uh, a um a fox with a sheep. You know? Since every read it again, huh? There's a Sirach 13 and 15. Every beast loveth his like, and every man loveth his neighbor. All right, and we already went to who, um, who, your, who your neighbor is. It's your brethren. Continue on. All flesh consorted according to kind. Yeah, all flesh consorted to kind, man. All right. All flesh consorted to its own same kind. Continue. And a man will cleave to his like. And a man will cleave unto one that's like unto him. You know, a man will cleave into one that's likened to him, man. All right, so if you could, if you could really sit up in the midst of niggas, or if it doesn't grind your gears, man, you know, if you if you choose to be around niggas, hey, then you chances are you're a nigga, man. I'm gonna just put it straight forward, you know. If you love to hang within the midst of the two thirds, all right, and you're part of the two thirds. You know, be around, you be around, you be around Jake, man. Here it is, you know. Uh, they, they might not mean nothing by it, you know, but they be, oh, yeah, yeah, my nigga, yeah, my nigga. You know, like, I, I can't stand for nobody to call me that, you know. That don't, that don't, that don't um, fly with me, you know. I tell Jake straight up at work or something like, nah, bro, don't call me that, you know. Uh, but that's just how Jake treat each other, you know. Yeah, more. Uh, what fellowship had the wolf with the lamb? Oh, yep, that's the spirit. What fellowship have the wolf with the lamb? The wolf is going to tear the lamb to pieces, you know. The wolf is going to tear the lamb, lamb to pieces. Lambs be in the midst of what other lambs? And lambs are smart enough to know not to be around the wolf. Right. They know they'll get devoured. Yeah, they know the wolf preying on them. You know, they know the wolf preying on them, man. And then uh, how it says uh, man shall cleave unto his like. You gotta ask yourself, what the hell would a two third want to cleave unto me anyway? You know, I mean unto you anyway. It's Satan. Yeah, yeah. Hey, but you know, uh, on, on the flip side, you know, when you first come in this thing, you know, you might still be. Around your cousins and shit, you know, but it'll come to a point where they stop inviting you to family events and stuff, you know, because you know you first come in this thing, you might be rebuking them and everything. They're like, yeah, man, such and such, he's still into that, he's still into that Bible, man. Yeah, there's no need to even invite him, you know. If they still want you to uh to show up and, and turn up with them, you know, chances are, man, then they spirit cleave unto your spirit. You still got demons on you, you know. Yeah, more, bro. Uh, let me see. Uh, oh. So the sinner with the godly, what agreement is there between the hyena and the dog? Mm. And what peace between the rich and the poor? Yeah, the rich don't kick it with the poor. You know, the so-called Jew here hanging with the low-level Edomites. <clears throat> you know, and, 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 and uh, and really we're the rich, man. You know, our people don't want the, and our people don't want the true riches, man. You know, they don't want to be rich in faith. You know, I'm not finna hang around the guy who all, his mind is always on hitting schemes and trying to get a bag, you know? You don't get you in the world of shit. That's why you have to uh, continually be with the brethren, man. You know? That's why you have to fellowship and, and get up with the brothers, man. All right, see, because everybody in this world is trying to tear us down, man. 
Yeah. Right, Satan works through all these people. As a matter of fact, um, Luke 22 and 31. Yep. <laughs> Luke 22 and 31. <clears throat> and the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, said, Simon, Simon, behold, Satan hath desired to have you, that he may sift you as wheat. Yeah, Satan might have to, Satan, Satan desired to have you, that he may sift you as wheat. You know? And when you look into that word, uh, uh, sift, I believe it's. Agitation? Yep, steniazo, you know, inward agitation. You know, because Satan, he'll, he'll work on your mind, you know? He'll try to at least. But here it is, if you've been kicking it with niggas all week, you're going to have nigga thoughts. You know, but if you've been in with the brothers, all right, that's a um, that's a barricade that keeps uh Satan Satan out. You know, if you've been uh with the brothers, you've been watching videos, you've been reading, you've been in the spirit. You know, here it is. You'll be able to uh to, to fight them demons off, fight them um them wicked thoughts off. All right, cause Satan he he comes at us all, man. You know, to the point now where we're not really phased by somebody uh running into the back of your car, cutting you off in traffic, being a demon at work. You know, that that's nothing, man. All right? To the point now where Satan, he'll try to come and um and, and throw out, throw um throw off your faith, man. Inward agitation. Go out of uh, Read on, bro. Verse 32. But I have prayed for thee that thy faith fail not. But I have prayed for thee. All right? So get St. John um 17 and 10. You know? He said, I have prayed for thee that thy faith fail not. So Yahweh Shai is praying for it. Start at 9. This uh... St. John 17 and 9, I pray for them, I pray not for the world. Yeah, I pray for them. Like Yahweh Shah said, I pray for thee, I pray for them, I pray not for the world. All right, so the Lord prays for the elect, not for the world. The word there for world, world is cosmos, all right, which is the whole nation. You know? Scripture says, I pray, for, I pray for thee, I pray not for the world. Continue on, bro. But for them which thou hast given me, for they are thine. Yeah, for them, but for them which thou hast given me, for they are thine. All right, so we're giving unto Yahweh Shai uh, by Yahweh, okay? The rest of our people are giving unto Satan, you know? And they want to draft you back into that um, to, onto that same team. You can't pull them over to this side, man. This is a thing of election, you know? You can't, you can't pull your, your best friend from the world from the sandbox over into this. I don't care how like-minded y'all was in the world, all right? That don't count because that was the old man that you were. You know? Was it on that, bro? Uh, God, we God. can read verse 10. And all mine or thine, and thine or mine. And I am glorified in them. Yeah, Yahweh Shah is glorified in us, man. All right? In his brethren. Okay? He's glorified within, within his body, man. You know? And the nigga isn't going to glorify nothing but himself, man. All right? Tells you now how men will be lovers in them. Uh, tells you in the scriptures that men will be lovers in themselves. You know, guys of their own belly. Just like we've seen uh, with Adrian Broner, he's a oh, he's a example. proud nigga. <laughs> he's a perfect example of just glory, glorying in himself. You no, know, not thinking. Uh, you know the uh, where in the world they say God. You know for for uh, for giving him his talents that he got. You know, yeah. hey, I you know I got, I got a testimony. You know, well I had a family member, man. You know, who I see, it was like, you know, was telling my children, you know, man, your children are so beautiful, man. They're on point. You have beautiful children, you know. And I'm, I'm, I'm saying, um, I'm, you know, I say, you know, I'm saying thank you, you know. Mm -hmm. Hey, no, nah, man, don't say thank you. Say I know. I was like, no, nah, that's proud, man. You know, I'm thankful to the Lord because I could have, my children could have came out as, uh, as retards or something, mm -hmm. you know. So you just got to, you know, but it's not in Jake, man, to give all praises to your Yahweh Shimmy Yahweh Shai, you know. When you were around the man of the Lord, what? Like you, you sent that to me today, uh, James four and fifteen. You know, God. Lord willing. You know, if you were, you don't, we don't really like to be around nobody who don't say Lord will. You know, but we deal with it. We bury it in because we're in the world. We know, you know, that these people don't know nothing about the Lord. God. You know, but I find myself sometimes, man, be at work, man. You know, somebody might sneeze. I might say, oh, I have to rebuke myself from saying Barakatha because mm -hmm. I be in the company of the brothers that much. You know. Our uh, Lord willing, our kind. Yeah. Uh, Salakia, yeah. <laughs> Salakia, you know. That's why, cause that's, that's cause of what, cause we always in the company of uh, of uh, of each other, you know, of like minded men. God. You know. The spirit did that last year. Like, he's already there. A shallow <laughs> <laughs> You know. Hey, but that was it on that. You can, can you go back to that, um, Luke. Yeah, uh, verse thirty-two. But I have prayed for thee that thy faith fail not. And when thou art converted, strengthen thy brethren. That's what it's about, it's about strengthening your brethren, man. <clears throat> you know? 
And we're in a time now, man, of what? Iron should be sharpening the iron. You know, you got that? You know what that's it? Yeah, strengthen thy brethren. Strengthen your brethren in the spirit, man. Don't be giving your energy to no um, no, no, no demon, man. All right? Because what they're trying to do is put your light out. All right? Bring it up. There's a Proverbs 27 to 17. Iron sharpeneth iron, so a man sharpeneth the countenance of his friend. Yeah, iron sharpeneth iron. All right? Iron sharpeneth iron, man. Okay? What you should be sharpening up is your sword. You know, sharpening your sword up, man. Getting these um these precepts within you. All right, sparking your spirit. You know, brothers, man. You know you, that that happens when you get together with brothers. You know, just like us this past, you know, Monday on Martin Luther for Coon Day, we got together. You know what we was doing? Just exhorting one another, man. Going heavy into the heavy into the spirit. All right, cause man, I realized this, man. Some of the you know the deepest spiritual conversations be um off the uh the camera. I'ma say. You know, some of the deepest conversations don't go don't go out. You know, it's just within um bros. You know, so like heavy exhortation and spirit be hot like that. You know, read that again, bro. There's a uh, Proverbs twenty seven and seventeen. Iron sharpeneth iron, uh -huh. so a man sharpeneth the countenance of his friend. And so a man sharpeneth the countenance of his friend. Okay, hey, you could do that through uh, a through through rebuke. You know, exhortation. Or you could do that through esteeming your brother. You know? If it's the spirit, man, you might get with a brother, man. He could already tell by your countenance that you done had a hell of a week, you know? Hmm. Like a a, a week, like a, a hard-ass week. Or you could, uh, you could see you and see that you in an upbeat spirit. You know, that you got some that you coming with some good, some uh, some good titans. You got you know you got some good testimonies. You know? And me personally, man, I, I, I it's been times where I'll be feeling down, man. I'll hop in the car with this brother or see the brothers. You instantly cheer it up, you know. You forget about the um the things of the world, which you shouldn't be meditating on that anyway. You shouldn't be thinking too much on the things of the world anyway, you know. The trials and tribulations, but it's like once you get around brothers, man, all that is is relieved, you know. God. Be in kingdom mode. Your spiritual batteries like recharge again. That's right. That's right. That's why. You, that's why you know get up with brothers, you know, while you can. Cause we're gonna come into a time, man. We're gonna be as pilgrims, you know. You might be by yourself, you know. So take advantage of this time that we have now, man, to link up, you know, in fellowship. You know, you hit your lessons, and then, you know, you do what bros do. Whatever y'all into, man, you want to hoop, hoop it up, shoot around, get in the gloves, you know, go have some, go have a drink, you know, take care of the business first, all right, then keep the company of your brother. Because even, you know what I mean, when we are doing things of the world, you know, might be playing a game or something, 2K or some shit, we still in spiritual conversation. You know, here it is. You might you, you get on the game with a nigga, man. There's gonna be something gonna come up about fucking a nigga, bitch. You know, it's gonna be something coming up about wickedness. Something coming up about dope and syrup. You know, matter of fact, you gotta get that Sirach, uh thirty-seven right quick, and you can get the um the precept that you got. There's a Sirach thirty-seven and twelve. But be continually with a godly man. But be continually with a godly man. Be continually with a man of the Lord. Continually. All right, continue. Whom thou knowest to keep the commandments of the Lord. Whom thou knowest that whom thou knowest to keep the commandments of the Lord. Whom thou knowest that fears Yahweh by Hashem and Yahweh Shai. All right, that's the only type of um, that's the only man you should feel comfortable around. Me, I be feeling uneasy around these people. You know, I don't like hanging around um, being around hanging around so called family members and shit. God. Really, it's <clears throat> like when you're at work. I witness it. These people just love death too much, you know, and you really don't want to be around that, you know. That's right. That's right. We live it, man. You know, that, that's right. That's a beautiful point, bro. These people live, live, live a death style. Smoking cigarettes, eating fucking swine. You know, man, it's just it's like you can't breathe around these people. Yeah, get um, Proverbs 8 and 36 right quick, you know. All right. Two thirds of our people love death, man. You know. And they don't, they ain't taking no heat, they ain't taking heed to no, to no rebuke, man. All right, forget about it. You know, he, he, he hey, hey, you know, he that is unjust, let him be unjust still. Revelation of the 22nd chapter. Forget about it. God. Read that, um, Proverbs, Proverbs 8 and 36. Proverbs 8 and 36. But he that sinneth against me, wrongeth his own soul. And that's what our people do, man. They transgress the law, statutes, and commandments. Jake has perfect, perfected that, man. You know, Jeremiah 4 and 22, man. 
There are wise to do evil, but to do good they have no knowledge. Read it again from the top up. Proverbs 8 and 36, but he that sinneth against me wrongeth his own soul. Yeah, so you was transgressing the law, statutes, and commandments. All right. You sinned against the Lord, you wrong your own soul. Because it ain't going to do nothing but bring destruction upon you. You know, continue on. All they that hate me love death. Yeah, all they, all, all they that hate you, how about you, how about all the, all our people who hate the word. All right, all the people, all our people who got a problem with the prophets. All right, who seen the Israelites on CNN, on CNN and they're disgusted by them. Mm. You know, all y'all love death, man. You know, you got a problem. It's a lot of goofies. It's a lot of goofy ass, Uncle Ruckus ass niggas coming out the cut too, man. Speaking up against the Hebrew Israelites, man. You know, that that's the spirit that's out now, man. To scoff the Hebrew Israelites, you know, to say, oh man, don't, they don't speak for um black people. You right, we don't speak for you niggas. Death to you niggas. All right, we speak the words of Yahweh Bashim and and we speaking unto the elect. Go back to that up. This Sarat thirty-seven and twelve, but be continually with a godly man. Whom thou knowest to keep the commandments of the Lord. Alright. One whom thou knowest to keep the commandments of the Lord. One who isn't wrong in his own soul with intentions to wrong yours as well. Go on. Whose mind is according to thy mind. Whose mind is according to thy mind. Back to what? Unity. You know? We all both have the what? The mind of Yahweh Shai. Which is the um the word, man. Y'all both into the word. That's why, man, we get together, man. You know, you 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 you, you and the brother might say the same thing at the same time. Or right, our brother might call for a precept and you already got it. You know why? Because you're like-minded, man. You know? Go ahead. And will sorrow with thee if thou shalt miscarry. And will sorrow with thee if thou shalt miscarry. You know? Man, hey, that's a thing of a nigga, man. You could be around a nigga every day, man. His whole, in his mind, man, he can't wait to see you fall. God, he still do nothing but laugh. He do nothing but laugh. That's all you see on social media. That's so all you see, man. You can, they can't wait to see you fall, man. Like what, what 50 say, niggas praying, pray on my downfall. Mm -hmm. You know, they can't wait to see you fall, man. But whereas your brother, man, you fall, he gonna try to get you back up, man. Just like uh, on Saturday, you know, the uh, brother went, was going through something, you know, and the, uh, the brother came, you know, I, I uh, spirit, I, I gave him some, some, uh, I, I helped him out, you know, through the spirit, you know. Then this brother came, you know, then added on to it, you know. Then the lesson came and. Cheered the brother. And with uh, the camp, then by the end of the day, you know, man, we fellowship. And next day we went out to camp again. The brother left in good spirits, you know. But but let, let it have been a nigga, man. I told you, I told you, see. See, see, I told you. No type of compassion. No type of mercy. No type of love. You know, and that's the curses, man. Our people ain't supposed to uh, be like this, man. You know, but here it is, man, you know. We're, we're coming back into our heritage. We're coming back into um loving our neighbor. More than ourselves, man. All right, steaming, steaming one higher than ourselves. Okay, but you know what? You can't do that to a nigga. That's just our spirit, man. You know. So I don't want to be around nobody who I can't um who I can't love, man. You know who I can't keep the sec the um the, the second commandment with. You got more up? Oh, that was it on that. You got anything up? Oh, that, that was it. Yeah, well, um, we can wrap it up. Get um Hebrews thirteen and uh one. <coughs> Is uh Hebrews 13 and 1. Let brotherly love continue. Yeah, let brotherly love continue. Alright, let brotherly love continue, man. You know? Because we in this thing, man. The most um, important thing that we do is prophesy, okay? But as a matter of fact, let me see if we look that up, man. That's also <clears throat> the reason why we do the videos. The videos could come uh, at the perfect time, you know, a brother going through something. Yep. Then you upload it, all of a sudden you see you upload it like an hour ago or something like that, you know? Uh huh. That's right. Let's see. First Corinthians 13. How I go? Oh, uh, yep, I got it. Uh. Man, it speaks about uh Yep, yep, first Corinthians thirteen and Yep, first Corinthians thirteen and two, excuse me. It says and though I have the gift of prophecy, which is the most important gift, you know, which is the most special gift, the ability to prophesy, 
and understand all mysteries and all knowledge. And though I have all faith so that I could move, remove mountains and have not charity, I am nothing. And have not brotherly. You can have all those characteristics and don't have brotherly love. You're nothing. All right. I mean, my, me and my own short time in this truth, man, I've seen guys, you know, who was hard with the breakdowns on the highways and hedges, man, with the sword. But it came to find out, man, they were cheating the brothers like niggas. And the spirit of the Lord casting them out, man. You know? So without charity, agape, brotherly love, you're nothing. You know? Read that in uh, Hebrews 13 and 1 again, huh? This Hebrews 13 and 1, let brotherly love continue. Yeah, let brotherly love continue. All right? From here on out, man. You know? Because once we get into the charity, man, all we're going to be able to uh, show love to our whole nation, man. You know? So we, if we got it now, man, you know, it's going to continue uh, forever. Let brotherly love continue forever within the uh, within the um the body of Yahweh Shai, you know? Hey, but, uh, with that, yeah, you know? One more song. Okay, okay, kind of cancel out. Uh, 1 John 4 and 21. And this commandment have we from him that he who loveth the Most High love his brother also. Mm. He that loveth the Most High loveth his brother also. As a matter of fact, let me see some up. Let me see. Yep. Uh, read 20. 1 John 4 and 20. If a man say, I love the Most High and hateth his brother, he is a liar. Yeah, if you say, you man, you love your high by Shemi outside, but you got hatred in your heart for your brother, man, you a bold faced lie. Continue on. For he that loveth not his brother whom he hath seen, how can he love the Most High whom he hath not seen? Yeah, you, if you don't love your brother, man, who you hit the highways and hedges with, man. All right, who you see uh, every week, all right, you got an evil eye towards him. How you going to love Yahweh while Yahweh shot who you haven't seen? You know? Go on, bro. Verse 21, and this commandment hath we from him, that he who loveth the most high love his brother also. Yeah, he that loveth the heavenly father while Yahweh shot loveth his brother also. You know? You love the Lord, man. You love the heavenly father. You love your brother. Hey, we, we brought it out in uh, St. Matthew. That's the keeping of the law, man. You know? So you better say anything else? Mm, that was pretty much it. Alright, so with that, we're going to wrap it up, giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rekha Kodash. Shalom to the lit. Shalom. Shalom.